But there's been so much bullshit happening recently with YouTube, involving several YouTubers getting falsely banned, having their videos removed. A lot of rumors even saying that some huge YouTubers are going to be getting banned in these next few months. The end is coming, everybody. I'm telling you right now, the end is coming indeed. Stack up on water, stack up on bread, stack up on your fruit stacks. The end is coming, alright? The end is goddamn coming. Ha ha ha! A look at this homeless loser. Nothing is gonna happen to as big YouTubers as whole. Ha 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 ha! YouTube, please don't shoot me, please don't. YouTube, please don't shoot me. I told you all! I swear to God, I told you all! I told you the end was coming, and you didn't listen! None of you did! None of you! And now look at you all! You're all dead! You're all fucking- What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the- You know what, I'm not even gonna do the intro, okay? Because YouTube is dead. Look guys, I don't know if you've heard, but some shit is going down, okay? YouTube is at its final stage, and I'm talking about death. YouTube, this is the- this, You know what, this is the end of YouTube, alright? It's over. I mean, we got the YouTube is over party trending on Twitter. We got YouTubers quitting. I mean, Vimo is the new thing, okay? MySpace is the new thing. MinecraftVideos.com is the new thing. It, 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 it's, it's, it's over, dude. I mean, I swear to God, I never thought I would see this day. You can't even swear on YouTube anymore if you say fuck- no, but seriously, as many of you guys know, there's been quite a shitstorm on YouTube, and... Wait, 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 am I allowed to say that? Are you guys gonna censor me if I... No, guys, there's been a complete utter shitstorm on YouTube recently, and as many of you guys know, a lot of people are saying that this is the end of YouTube. I'm not even joking about this. There are shitloads of people that are saying that this day, right now, this present day, is actually, no joke, the beginning of the end of YouTube itself. And you know, when I first saw this shit going down, I thought it was a little bit overhyped, but after actually looking into it and seeing so many massive YouTubers get completely fucked by, of course, these new YouTube changes, including myself, by the way, which, of course, has been so much fun watching. I I mean, just watching your own channel slowly get shut down in front of your fucking face, just, man, it's great. I mean, the experience has been a lot like watching your own pet turtle get eaten by a goddamn grizzly bear right in front of your face without being able to do pretty much anything, so the experience has been pretty great, I mean, pretty fantastic, I'm not gonna lie. No, but after actually seeing all this shit happen, I thought there was a little bit more to it than just, oh, YouTube's being stupid again. I mean, seriously, the sheer amount of YouTubers getting fucked over by this bullshit is actually pretty crazy. <sighs> so, YouTube's done another thing. Um... Terms of service, which I guess we were warned about uh, a little while ago, which is which it was effectively saying, no more bullying type content for you on YouTube. Um, hey YouTube, you want you want to clarify, clarify yourself, yourself there? there? What, is, there? What, is, what, what does that mean? What, does that mean? what are you talking are you about? Talking? And I am miserable right now because I spent a night in this bedroom, wide awake, anxious, riddled, having panic attacks, terrified of what's happening here on YouTube. And let me explain to you why, because when I woke up this morning on my channel, I saw about a half dozen videos that have been demonetized because they're no longer advertised or friendly. And these are videos that I've created uh, on the topic of suicide and suicide prevention, my own suicidal thoughts, my own mental disorders, my own physical disabilities. These are the videos that are getting flagged. And I've spoken with other people here on YouTube who work in similar fields, people who do the mental health stuff. I, I spoke with uh, one YouTuber who makes a lot of videos about rape survival and rape prevention. All of her videos have been deflagged as well, demonetized as well. But this makes a very clear statement to me. That content is not welcome on YouTube. I think we have a bunch of news for today. The first story here is huge. This is actually going to be a follow-up to the story I talked about yesterday. This is just getting so big on YouTube right now, and I'm really, really pissed off about this because it actually has been affecting me so badly recently, and I am just so angry at YouTube right now. But basically, there was a ton of stuff that went down with this whole YouTube censorship thing where YouTube is trying to make their content more ad-friendly. So if you do want to get paid on YouTube now, you can't make content that is considered controversial. Now, what is controversial? Well, it seems like a ton of 
YouTubers are getting their videos demonetized by YouTube, which means they can no longer make money off of YouTube. This first YouTuber here is named Hey Watch Your Mouth. He tweeted out saying that he got five of his videos demonetized just very recently. Then in a nutshell, this guy is a very big YouTuber. He tweeted out saying, what the fuck? Just checked out what happened to Philly D. YouTube disabled monetization on one of our videos. And Bro Fresco got affected by this. Another YouTuber named Melaine Murphy got affected by this. A YouTuber named Luke Cutforth got affected by this. A YouTuber named Haydox. I mean, there were so many different YouTubers. A YouTuber named Megan Tone. Another YouTuber named The ETC Show. You guys probably know who they are. Birdman got affected by this. He's like a Call of Duty YouTuber. Another YouTuber named Gamer from Mars got affected. Rob Dyke got affected. Uh, Kenworth or TBNR Kenny. Boogie298 put something in his titles talking about suicide. And his video got fucking demonetized. We can no longer make money off of it. That content is not welcome on YouTube. No, but after actually watching all this shit go down and seeing this complete clusterfuck in front of my face, I decided that I would make my own video on, uh, well, the quote-unquote end of YouTube itself. And just go into what's been actually going down, and obviously what I think of the whole thing as well. And with that all being said, and without further ado, let's just get right into this shit. <laughs> So basically, in a nutshell, recently YouTube has been demonetizing a ton of YouTube videos from a ton of different YouTubers that violates a few new rules that they have. Or at least that's what pretty much every single YouTuber on this website has been saying. See, YouTube has always had these certain rules from the start, but never really enforced them as hard as, uh, well, hmm. Let's just go with as hard as Hitler himself would. <laughs> But yeah, pretty much tons of YouTubers make videos swearing and tons of other stuff that apparently violates the rules of YouTube. And then, well, tons of YouTubers get their videos restricted and overall unable to make money off that video. And now, for good reason, tons of YouTubers are now upset and mad. Because for a lot of YouTubers, this is literally their job. And a lot of the videos getting restricted are just complete bullshit. But let's get into what rules these YouTubers are apparently breaking and what they've done that is so unholy, so filthy, that they can't even put fucking ads on the video. That's how how bad it is, okay? They've done something so fucked that they cannot put ads on it. It's too much, okay? It's fucked. But yeah, let's get into the holy commandments of YouTube itself, or ultimately the rules on what videos can make money and what videos just can't. Just no way, Jose. No way. That's just way too far, man. <laughs> Alright, so first off we have, on YouTube there will be no sexually suggestive content, including partial nudity and sexual humor. Okay, so just first thoughts, what? what, what sexual humor that's not allowed on YouTube? You can't, what? And partial nudity? What, uh, what is that even supposed to mean? No, we're gonna see Albert Einstein in the goddamn YouTube comments with some shit like, No, oh, well it should be obvious what partial nudity is. Look it up, you goddamn retard. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about partial nudity itself. I'm talking about what that entire thing is supposed to mean. Listen, you can't make a rule like no partial nudity on YouTube and then not even specify what even partial nudity is. Like, fair enough, if I'm sitting there making a vlog about eating cereal and then blurt out out of nowhere, it's not rape if it's a surprise, and then rip out my butthole and just smash it against the camera. Even if I have a band-aid across my butthole and you don't see my butthole, fair enough, that video should probably be removed. But the issue is, is they don't specify what partial nudity is. Like, if I'm playing a video game and there's a character with a mini skirt and bikini, am I gonna get fucked? If I make a vlog of myself swimming in a goddamn speedo, am I gonna get fucked for that too? Like, that whole first rule, partial nudity, is just so vague in essence. It seriously just makes no sense at all, and that's pretty much the same thing for most of the other rules as well. Violence, including display of serious injury and events related to violent and extremism. Like, of course, if ISIS themselves makes a video where they're shooting people, fucking remove that shit, fair enough. But if I play Grand Theft Auto and I hit someone with my car in that game, am I gonna get spanked for that one as well? Like, seriously, I don't get it. It's too vague. And for the next one, we have promotion of drugs and regulated substances, including selling, use, and abuse of such items. Which, fair enough, I mean, that one's not that bad. I mean, if you're making a video in a dark room and you're sitting there all like, Hey everyone, this is how you sell meth and actually, uh, make it as well. Let's just get right into this shit. Also, new Minecraft Let's Play out Saturday. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Regardless, though, of one or two of these rules not sounding that bad, all three of these holy rules of YouTube pretty much fall under the same category. And that, of course, well, is exactly exactly what we're about to get into. All the rules 
rules are just way too fucking vague. No one knows what the fuck anyone is talking about. Like, look, here's a perfect example. 1942. We're both in the middle of Nazi Germany. I'm Hitler. You're a Jewish prisoner. I walk up to you and say, hey, buddy, what's going on, man? How's your day? Quick little eye test. If you get 100%, I'll give you a million dollars and let you go. And if you get it wrong, I'm going to cut your dick off, all right? Here it is. Read the top little line. Now, I'm assuming right now you're probably thinking, oh, my God, I'm going to be a millionaire. And yeah, you probably are, unless you're actually clinically blind, in which case, uh, I I'm sorry. I, I mean, how did you even get on this video, though? Holy shit. Anyways, though, this whole test is pretty easy, though. Pretty simple, right? But what if, instead of just reading the top line, I also hit you in the back of the head with a sledgehammer? <laughs> And now your vision becomes blurry as shit and everything becomes extremely vague. Like, what if this eye chart turns into this shit? See how everything gets a little bit more complicated and harder? Well, that's pretty much exactly what these YouTube rules are. No partial nudity. No promoting drugs. No violence. It's just too fucking vague. It's like if Barack Obama made a huge statement saying, Hey guys, if you're mean, the FBI is gonna try to find you, and they will find you, and then they're gonna execute you. Like, what is that even supposed to mean? It's just too vague. But these first three rules that are insanely vague isn't even scratching the surface in terms of the insanity with these new rules. The real issue, in my opinion, and pretty much everybody else's opinion, is of course with the last two rules that I haven't even brought up yet. And of course, I'm talking about, Hi, I'm YouTube, no swearing aloud guys, okay? Yep, this is the level we're at on YouTube, Jesus Christ. <laughs> So unless you're the fucking Pope, so far, everything I've brought up has been pretty ridiculous. But no joke, everything I've said so far is pretty much just the salad of this ridiculous mess. Tons of YouTubers getting fucked over and some even quitting? Pretty much just the lettuce. These vague-ass new rules? Well, that's pretty much just the salad dressing. See, the stake out of this whole thing is by far these two rules in particular. First one being, quote for quote, Inappropriate language, including harassment, profanity, and vulgar language is not allowed. Yeah, but that's right, guys. Welcome to YouTube, where you can't even fucking swear anymore. They, they, they can't be serious with this shit, dude. Like, everybody on this goddamn website swears what? Like, wh what did the Pope buy this goddamn website? What is going on? Now, that alone is pretty vague, don't get me wrong. But still, it's more than just vague. It's just completely ridiculous. You can't use profanity? What? But it doesn't even end there, okay? Despite how ridiculous that one is, or at least in my opinion. See, the most ridiculous one to me is the last one. Quote for quote, get this shit. Controversial or sensitive subjects, including subjects related to war, political conflicts, natural disasters, and tragedies, even if graphic imagery is not shown. So, uh, basically, you can't get into fucking arguments anymore on YouTube. You, you, you can't even, you can't even talk about who you want to be president. It's just insane, alright? Like, this is the type of shit that if I worked at YouTube and someone said this, I would actually start laughing. Like, they can't be serious. It, it, political conflicts? You, you, you you can't talk about that you this is seriously like dude i have to be unpunked like this is so ridiculous that i don't even know what angle to even approach this like i feel like with these rules i'm like some sort of knight and i'm fighting someone and just out of nowhere while we're in the middle of a battle to the death he just whips out his dick quickly grabs his knife and swiftly cuts off his own dick flings it at me like a goddamn frisbee then starts charging me with no weapon at all while yelling at the same exact time spongebob is my favorite anime of all time fuck you like i don't even know what to do this is just insane. Like, YouTube, you, you can't be serious. I get it, you want less offensive content on your website, but you can't even talk about political conflicts, or here's the worst part, controversial or sensitive topics? What the fuck is that even supposed to mean? A sensitive topic? Everybody has a different level of what they find sensitive. Like, what if I'm sensitive about shoes and I email YouTube? Does that mean that you can no longer talk about shoes on fucking YouTube? Is this the level we're at? Like, a lot of people right now are making the joke, oh yeah, YouTube is pretty much PG. They want only Teletubby shit. But dude, no, this is even Teletubby shit. This is fucking North Korea shit. Okay, maybe not North Korea shit, okay? That was a little bit of an over-exaggeration. It was a joke, all right? I do understand that YouTube is not starving us to death. Well, actually, 
I mean, I mean, some people are employed by YouTube and they're actually not getting, yeah, you know, actually YouTube could be starving some people to death. I'm not even joking about this. Jesus Christ. I mean, there's seriously a YouTuber that his job is YouTube and he had 100 videos on his channel. 95 of his videos, this is not a joke, was actually fucked by this shit. I mean, Jesus Christ, YouTube, oh my God. YouTube could actually be killing this man. YouTube might've just actually killed someone. Oh my God. Okay, I'm joking, but seriously, this is actual insanity. And I don't want to spend too much time on this because I feel like everybody here watching can understand that not being allowed to swear on a goddamn platform where you're supposed to be able to express yourself is pretty fucking ridiculous. And I know someone's gonna say, oh, but it's not your decision to make, Leafy. Like, it, no shit, it's not my decision to make. Why do people even comment that shit? That's like the same thing as, oh, well, that's just your opinion. No shit, it's just my opinion. It's a goddamn YouTube video. No, but these are the new rules that have been fucking over a lot of YouTubers. And by a lot, I'm not talking about a few, I am talking about a lot. <laughs> No, but after these changes were made, pretty much every single YouTuber and their pet hamster immediately jumps on their computer and starts making a video about the new shit going down and how this is most likely, quote unquote, the end of YouTube itself. I mean, hashtag YouTube is over was trending on Twitter. I mean, that just gives you an idea of how many YouTubers actually made a video saying YouTube is fucking over. And of course, after a few hours, in my opinion, in a lot of situations, I'm not saying all, but a lot of situations, the whole thing gets uh, well, a little bit overhyped. However, regardless of most situations being a little bit overhyped, there are some situations that are just completely not overhyped at all, and of course need a lot more attention on them. And that, of course, is the situations where YouTubers are not getting a few videos restricted, but actually all their videos restricted. Like, that shit is a huge deal, and obviously could really fuck someone over. Which is, of course, one of the main reasons why I'm making this video today. Because in a lot of situations, this shit is just completely ridiculous. And, of course, one of the main reasons why a lot of YouTubers are actually quitting. And of course, a lot of people are saying that this is the end of YouTube itself. But let's talk about the end of YouTube because holy shit, it is coming. Okay, YouTube is gonna go down from this point on. This is the beginning of the fucking end. No, it's not. This is not the fucking end of YouTube. Jesus Christ. Like, there is no way that this is the end of YouTube itself, okay? Unless YouTube actually deletes itself or makes everybody on the goddamn website quit, well, then it's pretty much not going anywhere. I mean, YouTube is at the point in time right now where they could actually delete PewDiePie's channel, just recycle bin that shit, and they still would just be completely fine. Yeah, you know what? I take that back, okay? YouTube could actually delete PewDiePie himself, and they would still be fine. They could actually fucking murder him, like on camera and everything, and there would still be people sitting there checking their iPad for, ah, uh, where, where is, where is my new Let's Play? But yeah, YouTube is not going anywhere. <laughs> No, but guys, so far, I've talked about what's been going down, and of course, the issues with what's been going down as well. The rules YouTube has been adding are way too vague. There's just way too many YouTubers getting fucked over. And of course, on top of the vagueness, a lot of the rules are just... <laughs> Just fucking ridiculous. No, but so far, I haven't really gave any solutions to what actually has been going down. Well, of course, until now, that is. See, when it comes down to it, guys, the main issue that YouTube is facing, and the stem of the main issue going on, is, of course, that YouTube wants to keep the people that are paying for ads on their website happy by making it so if you actually put an advertisement on YouTube, the advertisement isn't going to go on a video that's, uh, well, uh, against the rules, all right? There's swearing, there's people being partially nude, and, of course, the rest of the ridiculous shit. But instead, if you pay YouTube to put your advertisement up, it's gonna go in a family-friendly Minecraft video. Therefore, if you can't make family-friendly videos, well, then you can't put ads on the video itself, which ultimately means that you can't make money off your videos, or YouTube can't make money off you as well. 
Now the solution, in my opinion, should be pretty simple, but apparently YouTube hasn't thought about it yet. Or maybe they just think it's a bad idea and want to indirectly move all the people that don't make family-friendly content off their fucking website and onto Pornhub or some shit, I don't know. But the solution is, well, simply, why doesn't YouTube have their own set of ads that of course are only gonna be placed on videos that have been deemed mature or not family-friendly? Like, I think we all know for a fact that if they opened up this section, there's gonna be tons of people that are gonna wanna advertise the people watching not family family friendly content. I mean, I swear to God, it sounds so cringy saying that, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they should open up porn ads, because despite me not having any issue with it, I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't have any issue if there's fucking porn on YouTube itself. But of course, a lot of other people would be, uh, deeply offended by that. Oh my God, it's a naked person, I can't handle it. Listen, I'm not saying there should be porn ads allowed on YouTube, but I am saying that the simple fix that this whole thing is just opening up a category of paying to get your ads on a video that are not really family friendly, and I hate saying that word, but that's pretty much fucking it. I mean, if they just did that, then they wouldn't have to worry about YouTubers getting fucked over by this shit. They would also make a lot more money because they would have a lot more ads on their videos. And don't get me wrong, I understand the idea of inflation and whatnot, but still, I think they would make more money if they had a new section of ads. So they make more money, they keep people happy. It's pretty much the simple fucking solution. Why don't they do it? I don't get it. I mean, even if it ended up being a bad idea, why don't they at least try it for a month? God damn, I, I, it makes no sense to me, dude. No, but that's the simple solution in my opinion that's pretty much fucking fail proof. I mean, this is seriously pretty goddamn solid. No, but in conclusion today, guys, I love YouTube. But honestly, YouTube has been fucking up recently and really just pulling some ridiculous ass shit. And despite me thinking that the whole thing has been a little bit overhyped, it still doesn't change the fact of how insane some of this shit actually is. And yeah, that's pretty much it. YouTube, I'm sorry. I really am, dude. But honestly, you guys need to get your shit together. And yeah, case closed. <laughs> No, but regardless though guys, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did or agreed with anything I said, if you could leave a like on this video, it would honestly just be great, and it would help out me, and it would help out everybody getting fucked over by this situation as well. Once again, it wasn't just other people's YouTube channels that were affected by this, I got fucked over by this as well. And I mean, I'm not on the verge of becoming homeless as we speak, begging on the streets for money, but I did get fucked pretty hard by this shit, I mean, my butthole is definitely sore. So yeah, if you could leave a like on this video, that'd be awesome, and thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Thank you so much for all the support recently. It's just been amazing. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching once again and peace out. See ya.